Welcome back to Matt Tech TV. I'm your host Randy Rogers and uh, in this follow-up video to our last one on how to create a simple survey using Google Forms we're going to look at two more things. One is how to customize the appearance of our survey and the second is just what happens to all that data that we collect. Uh, how do we actually find the responses and make uh, make them make use of them. So uh, first we're going to look at how to again make your form look a lot prettier, a lot more snazzy and jazzy and uh, and just a more attractive um, in a real with a few real simple changes okay so I'm in my survey editing uh, screen just like I was in previously and I'm gonna click on uh, this little button right here that says change theme and all this is gonna do is open a menu over here on the right that's gonna have some default themes and I can click through these and see what they look like you can see this one's called beach evening um, birthday cats it's a little disturbing but there you go uh, go through here's a library theme with a bunch of books and so on all right so let's say uh, that you find what you need um, you're good to go this is all you have to do but you also can do some customization for example if I like this um, sailing theme except that I would like maybe to change my fonts up a little bit maybe change some of the background colors and things like that I can also come over here and click this customize button underneath the theme when I click customize it gives me uh, more options for example if I like this sailing theme I can leave it or I can click header image and I can actually click change image and I can browse to the image that I want to use. It'll allow me to go in here and I can look for other images that they've got or I can actually come here and upload my own custom image. I'm going to cancel that because I'm not actually going to change that image. Um, just as a tip, uh, your image, if you upload a custom banner that you've created in Photoshop or some other program, 1200 um, pixels wide by 300 pixels tall generally works best with these forms. Um, some other things that you can do, you can change the title font. If I click title, you can see it has quite a few of these uh, web, web safe fonts, or just what all that means is fonts that actually work well with browsers, browser safe fonts. Uh, I can change, change it to bold. I can change the text color. Maybe I want, I think that needs that blue to go with that background or something else anyway. Um, so I can change that. Uh, I can change the font size right here make it extra large I can center it if I'd like I can come here I don't have a description on this one but I can change if I did it would appear right here a, a, a form description and and I could change the font of that I can change question fonts as well same kind of po uh, process you know scroll hoot through here until you find the one that you want like this one and again you can change the size of the question font so I make it large a little easier to read change the, the color etc uh, and again remember some of your questions like our first one has help text I can change the settings on that I can change the setting on the options and all options are, are like your answer choices your yes no's your choices here for your check boxes um, so that's how you can customize the look there. You can also come down here and change the page background and the form background. The form background is the actual background of, well, without being too obvious, of the form itself. Um, and so, for example, if I click that, it changes that. And if I want to change this outer background, then I would use page background. And I can come in here and add an image. Um, as my page background so if I have a logo that I want to be on there and I can set it to tile so that it repeats uh, or I can use a really large um, image that just fills up the entire area but that's the basics of how you customize the look of one this just really adds a little extra professionalism and and uh, just shows a little extra effort if especially you've got like a company and you're trying to use you know you want to use the company logo or your school logo or um, maybe it's an organization maybe you're part of the you know uh, parent teacher association or something like that and you've got their banner up there student council whatever it is it just adds a little extra pizzazz to it and, and makes it uh, look a little more professional all right the next thing that we're going to talk about is um, I'm going to go back into edit questions here and notice when I go to edit questions I don't see my theme 
if I want to actually see what the theme looks like in live and in live and in person if I click view live form it will take me to this is what the online form would look like for again any of my uh, survey participants so I'm going to close that and go back into here now the other thing that's important is let's say well actually let's open that again and I'm going to show you how this works let's say that I take this form and I say Bob Smith available volunteer certainly and I can do field trips and I can do career day and I click submit and remember based on what we selected I can edit my response if I need to but now I'm done now if I go back into my form, um, how do I actually see what Bob submitted and all of my other participants that have completed this survey? Well, it's so easy. This is the best part probably about Google Forms is how quickly it collects and aggregates, aggregates data. So if I come up here, you notice that it now says responses. And I can say, I can click on that and I can then come down to view responses and it will take me into another screen that's just a Google Sheet that it automatically creates including a, it has a timestamp so I can know exactly when the survey was completed and then here are my three items so I can sort by the time I can sort by uh, the name of the person whether or not they're able to volunteer the types of activities they're able to volunteer with but it's a, and I can do all the other things I can do with the spreadsheet if I need to create tables and graphs and charts uh, you know whatever I can export this you know and if I've got addresses and stuff if that's part of my survey and I can create mail merge lists and things like that so anything you can do with a spreadsheet you'll be able to do with your responses and that's all automatic I did not have to create this and if I'm back in my drive I can see right here parent survey and then parent survey responses and it'll automatically create that spreadsheet for me. Awesome, huh? All right, well, that's it uh, for, uh, we've, we've looked at how to quickly create a Google survey, and then the next thing that we did was uh, customize it, make it a little fancier, and then um, actually collect a little data and see how Google handles that data. And that's it. That should get you started and up and rolling with the basics of using uh, Google Forms to create a survey.